I'm really excited to give you a first look at Viewsheds, one of our awesome new features in City Engine 2017.1. For all you planners out there, this is going to make your planning life a hell of a lot easier. Hello everyone and welcome to our third episode. If you've missed the other episodes, I'll make sure that I link them at the end of this video. And as per usual, please comment below if you have any other City Engine hacks or City Engine tips and tricks that you just can't believe. I found so many cool City Engine things on social media this week and really struggled to find my favorite, so keep those submissions coming. If you'd like to be part of a future episode, then make sure you just use the hashtags City Engine or City Engine Art in your social media posts. I'm so happy to show you around our 2017.1 release and we'll kick off today with Viewsheds, which are part of our visibility analysis tools for planners. With Viewsheds, you can easily check what kind of views you might have from your proposed design. In this case, I want to make sure that the person standing on their balcony in Philadelphia can see all the way down to Logan Square. I can use the toggles on the side to narrow down my view and you can see that the inspector instantly reflects the changes in the preview window. The parts of Logan Square that are in the view shed are colored either red or green. In this case, green is what I can see from my balcony. You can easily add more view sheds too and the areas that can be seen from all viewing locations are colored yellow by default. If you want to change the colors because Maybe you just want to create a nicer visualization. You can easily do it by clicking on the analysis layer and then changing the properties in the inspector. Using Viewsheds is so easy and effective and I'd love to hear from you on how you plan on using this feature. And the next artwork award goes to Mapopolis. Look out for my inbox message in your Instagram account. And that's it for another week. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any questions or maybe you just want to say hi.